Growing up and going through many years of high school, I have to say, PE was one of my favorite classes to go to. I remember junior high playing tennis, softball, football, and even competing in track and field. Even though I was not the most physically fit kid at the time, as a matter of fact, I was probably the least fit kid, I still had a blast in PE because I got to make new friends, play sports I wouldn't be able to play at home, and most of all, feel, feel good for the rest of the day after PE. This class is what started me on my path to live a healthier lifestyle, which has been worth it every step of the way. I know that sports and activity is not for everybody, but I feel that it is vital for the nation as a whole, which is why I'm here to talk to you today about why I think physical education should be a required course in school. One of the main reasons I believe that PE should be a required course in schools is to help promote good health through fun activities and sports. According to the CDC, here in the United States, about 17% of the children in the population are overweight or obese and it continues to rise. This growing problem threatens children later in their life with heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, and many chronic diseases that are sometimes fatal. By having PE as a required course in schools, kids are taught how to have fun and work out at the same time, which is great for their health. It also gives kids more of a chance to get into good shape, play sports, and make new friends. Without PE in the school systems, many kids will not be able to work, work out due to the lack of equipment or motivation. Workout equipment is not cheap by any means, and when children can get this for free and learn how to use it for free, it is a great lesson that they will be, be able to use for the rest of their lives. We all have a talent that we usually find on accident or develop over time, and with children being in PE, this gives kids a chance to find their hidden talent within them or to develop one. Finding or developing this talent is important for many kids because some, some will be able to use this newfound talent for the rest of their lives. This could help them out because they would know what, what they are good at or not good at and they could participate in the sport for the rest of their lives and potentially help them carry through their lives. Along with finding this talent that some may possess, there's something that every child will learn from this, sportsmanship and camaraderie. This life lesson of teamwork that is learned through sport is vital in, to growing up because in life you know how to work as a team and playing sport is the best way to learn that. Not only does this teach kids to play as a team, but it also helps with the development of a child's social character by helping them to make new friends and learning how to communicate with others in order to overcome obstacles that may stand in their way. Today in America, the average child spends about 26 hours per week watching TV and starts watching TV at the age of nine months. Not only is TV a sedentary activity, but it also leads to increased snacking, as studies show, therefore increasing the weight of children over time. With PE being mandatory in the school systems, children have time already set aside for them to work out and will also form habits to learn to like to exercise and play sports. This in turn will reduce their amount TV that children will watch because they will be more compelled to go out and participate in physical activities rather than sit at home and watch mindless hours of TV. Another big factor is that stress while growing up, especially during the junior high and high school years, runs very high and can lead to detrimental effects on kids. Studies show that when a person exercises, their cortisol levels of stress hormones are decreased and therefore less, less stressful. When stress it is nearly impossible for for you to focus on your studies and by having PE you can actively reduce these cortisol levels in your body and therefore increasing your grades due to the fact that you're able to focus more during class. Children that participate in an active lifestyle are shown to be more productive than children that live a sedentary lifestyle. This is because when you exercise your metabolism is raised which in turn raises your mental awareness and fills you with energy throughout the whole day. As you can see, there are many benefits from having physical education taught in schools, and it would be, this, be a shame to see this taken out of the educational system. Physical education helps kids in many ways, including helping them find something within themselves that they may not have known, or building life lessons through teamwork and sports, or more importantly, just keeping kids inactive in some way, which is a huge benefit for them in the long run. Thank you.
So we plugged in Trent and Audi, and Audi, you're not here, right? Mm -hmm. Did, oh. Yeah, yeah. Did you miss the speech? Um, yeah. Okay, so that doesn't help. Okay. All right, Tyler, I think your personal opinion at the beginning is okay. It sounds like a good idea. Uh, it looks weak in the presentation, though, because you're reading it, and you're supposed to be telling us what you think about this idea, and you're having to look down, and you do that the rest of the presentation. That's also a problem. Your goal is clearly stated. Uh, I'm not sure that PE isn't already a required course, so why is it that we're having to be convinced to do something that is already something that is done? It's required. Uh, if, if we need more of it than we're being given, or if people are talking about cutting it down, then you need to show that that problem exists. But I don't really think that uh, you do much in regard to the PE classes. You do uh, talk about the need for physical education, but you need to discuss more why there is a threat to either PE classes or why we're not getting enough or, or why we need to have more than is uh, going on here. Um, there was an early reference to information when you talked about obesity, but after that the only reference that I got to anything was studies on stress, say, and I don't know where those studies came from. I don't know what the context was, and I certainly don't have a date on them, so that's too abstract a reference for our, our purposes. We need something a little bit more solid than that. Uh, the outline is pretty basic. It's easy to follow, so I didn't see a lot of problems there. I think the topic is okay, but it's underdeveloped in terms of content, especially on the problem area. The delivery issues, I've already mentioned your eye contact. Your gestures are also limited as a consequence, and your voice is loud and clear, but the pacing seems awkward in large part because you are reading. So I think you need a little bit more practice on this. And uh, obviously there's more time, so it could be developed more. All right, thank you.